Hello, I'm Max Massey. Here are today's top stories. A man in the hospital this morning after a gunfire on the west side. Police there telling us this all started when a woman's ex-boyfriend showed up to her apartment. That happened just after 1 a.m. in the 2500 block of South General McMullen. We're told an ex-boyfriend showed up to the woman's apartment. An argument ensued, and just after, two men showed up shooting the ex-boyfriend twice. Uh, that man who was shot able to get into his vehicle, drive to a local gas station. That's where he called for help. He was taken to University Hospital at last check in stable condition. No arrests have yet been made. Several vehicles involved in a crash this morning. Police telling us two vehicles were racing. Now, this was the scene on I-35 around 2.30 this morning near AT&T Parkway. Police say one of the drivers lost control, slammed into the wall divider. That impact causing the vehicle to rear end a van and hit a truck. Police say the van had a family of five on board, two adults, three children. One of the adults had to be taken to the hospital. The three children treated at the scene. The driver of the truck had a shoulder injury. They are expected to be OK. Police say the driver who caused the crash now facing multiple charges, including a DWI. His girlfriend, a passenger in the vehicle, also facing charges. That's all for now. You can find the latest headlines on Facebook and on Twitter.